Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about cockroaches. So you're having a problem with cockroaches in your home. We're going to discuss in this video how to eliminate your cockroach infestation effectively. Uh, maybe you're trying to do your own pest control or maybe you're a pest control tech and you're having problems getting rid of your client's pest problem. Let's go over the steps to getting rid of German cockroaches. Step one, you want to identify your cockroach. There are many different cockroaches that can come into a home. You may have problems with oriental cockroaches, wood roaches, American roaches, uh, or German cockroaches, or many other kinds. Maybe you live in Florida, maybe you have problems with palmetto bugs. But either way, a roach is a roach is a roach. So let's identify the problem so that we know how to tackle it. Not all roaches are created equal. We're going to go over German cockroaches in this video because that's typically the one that I get asked about the most. What makes a German cockroach different than any other cockroach? The main thing is that roaches, so a German cockroach develops chemical immunity really easily. You need to identify that it is a German cockroach before you apply your pesticides because you want to make sure you're actually using the right product for the job. German cockroaches, when they're born out of their egg casing, they, they have a, uh, two vertical black lines down their back. They are typically really teeny tiny. Um, if I can get something for a size comparison, they usually about that big when they're nymph stages. Now, a cockroach goes through instar phases, which means much like bed bugs, much like stink bugs, they shed their skin as they get larger. Uh, a lot of people will actually see a white cockroach or an albino cockroach. These are actually roaches that have recently molted or shed their skin, and they, they're white for a few seconds before they turn the tan brown that we all know as German cockroaches. So a German cockroach, when it's fully grown, will have wings that extend down its back and they will cover those two vertical lines and the only vertical line of visible will be just right on the back of their head and a German cockroach uh, gets to be about an inch long. And those tan brown wings are what we typically see when we see a, a German cockroach. Now there are other roaches that have tan brown wings like a wood roach. Wood roaches infest wood piles, they get into mulch, they come from the forests, the woods and stuff around our homes, they're attracted to light, they will come in like a moth and they'll come into the house. They can be as big as three inches long. They can be very large cockroaches. They're not uh, to be associated with German roaches. They don't crawl around in garbage. They're not nasty. They don't spread disease or staph infection like uh, German roaches can. So you don't have to be worried about them so much. Uh, but, you know, people do confuse them with German cockroaches. They are different. They're not the same. Um, oriental cockroaches, a lot of people call them water bugs. They're actually not a true water bug. They're actually an oriental cockroach. They're a dark brown uh, reddish brown, like a brick red type color, all the way up to a black color, really dark, almost the color of this steering wheel right here. Um, those are oriental roaches. They're also more of an oval shape, where a German cockroach is more oblong. They're long and slender, and so um, there is a difference between those roaches. And the reason I say now German cockroaches, they, they develop chemical immunity really easy. So that's why we need to to recognize that this is what we have getting in our homes. Not all cockroaches are the same. So how do we eliminate German cockroaches? So we've gotten through step one. Step one is identification. Step two is chemical application. So how are we going to, to apply the chemical? How often should we apply the chemical? How should we treat roaches? So German cockroaches require a rotation of pesticides. And what is that? What does that mean? Now this is, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to be successful with getting rid of German cockroaches. This is the key element. This is what will cause you to have the biggest problem, the most issue, getting rid of German cockroaches. It's the number one problem that people have. 
is not rotating their pesticides. So, and this is with baits, it works with liquids, it works with dusts. All these things need to be rotated. So, what does that mean? Let's say I came out to your house today and I treated your home. I'm going to treat your home with Alpine WSG. That's the pesticide. Now, all these pesticides are going to be linked below. Check the links. I also have an Amazon page with all the stuff that I use for bed bugs, ants, spiders, uh, all the different things that I use to control these issues. But what you want to do is you want to get Alpine WSG. So what that does, it's a water-soluble granule, which means it it dissolves in water, but it's a granule. It's not a liquid. So you, you, you measure it out. You pour it in your tank. Always read your label. Um, I typically mix a gallon, and I use it in the cracks and the crevices in your home, around uh, your kitchen cabinets, your uh, baseboards, around behind your splash block, different places, but always in the cracks and the crevices. This is the type of treatment we want to do because roaches live in the cracks and the crevices of our kitchens and our bathrooms. They also live in our bedrooms. Uh, if you have a constant water source by the bed, maybe you have a CPAP machine, maybe you're on oxygen, maybe you just have a glass of water sitting on the counter there right beside the bed, um, you want to make sure that you treat those areas to keep those roaches from infesting your nightstands and your dressers because they will if you have a water source nearby. If you have a problem, maybe you have a fish tank, um, they'll live around fish tanks and stuff too. German roaches are actually attracted to water. They will live around your hot water heaters especially. So pay attention to these areas. You want to uh, Baits. We're going we're gonna to talk about using baits. Now, I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can because I don't want to ramble and I want you to be able to get exactly what you need. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video, share it on social media, uh, share it with your friends, and hopefully we can help people get rid of their roaches. Fairly simple. It's a fairly simple process. It does take time, but I believe that you can do it. You will be able to do it. I do it every day. I get rid of roaches all the time. It's not a struggle. It's actually very easy. So let's talk about baits. Where are we going to apply our bait? We're going to apply our bait everywhere we can't spray. So you don't spray liquid into a appliance. Like let's say you have a coffee maker or a, a microwave oven. Um, maybe you have a place that you plug your charger in beside the bed for your phone and you find that the roaches are living up behind the charger because the charger always pulls current so it stays warm and the roaches like to live in a warm place. So what you do is you'll take the uh, outlet cover, you'll take that one little screw in the middle of the outlet cover and you'll pull the outlet cover off, put a little bit of Advion. Advion is the gel bait that I'll be uh, talking about today, but you do want to rotate your baits. So. When I talk about rotation, you put your bait, like, like I said, you put your bait behind your outlet cover, you put your outlet cover back on the wall. There's a little bit of poison there that the, uh, ro or the roaches can come out and they can feast on, and it's a place that they're going to be because it's, a, it's an electrical source, so they like electricity, they like warm places, and so they'll live there and they'll eat the bait. And you can't spray because you'll electrocute yourself. So um, what do I mean by chemical rotation? So in step three, I want to go over chemical resistance all right roaches have a unique uh, roaches and bed bugs actually have a very unique feature in that they can become immune to pesticides if a pesticide is used regularly around their area every month or it may be every other week or so um, they will develop an immunity to that chemical so if you have a hundred cockroaches and 80% of the roaches die from the pesticide, that's wonderful. But the 20% that don't die, they don't die because they have an immunity to the chemical. Well, their offspring, they will pass that immunity gene on to their offspring, and their offspring will also be immune to the chemical. And when you come next month and you spray again, you'll notice you don't get the knockdown. You're not killing the roaches. The roaches aren't dying. And the reason they're not dying is because those babies are grown up now and they are immune to the chemical too. So you need to use something different. So what you do is you'll use Alpine WSG and then you'll use another chemical the next month. And like I said, I have all these listed on my page, but Alpine is typically what I recommend. And the reason I recommend it is because I've done uh, cockroach jobs with Alpine WSG and not had to have a follow-up. I've actually eliminated German cockroaches with just one treatment. That's why I recommend it. But 
in, just in case, I've got some other ones listed there. Right off the top of my head, I can't remember all of them that I have listed, but you'll want to go and you'll want to look them up and, and try. If you're having problems getting rid of the roaches, you'll want to rotate your chemicals. Use something different. Um, the next month, you do the exact same application, the exact same way. Maybe use a different bait. Maybe switch from Advion and use something like maybe Max Force, or maybe you'll want to use a, uh, a div like an Alpine. You can use Alpine uh, makes a bait too that you can use. Um, there's other baits, and like I said, those are also listed on my page. So go and check it out. Bookmark it because I'm constantly updating it with everything new that I use. So the reason you want to rotate your chemicals is because roaches will develop an immunity. Does that mean you have to rotate? Well, no, yeah, you do. You, you have to rotate once a month. But then in, in three months, rotate your chemicals even if, it, like every month, always. All right, so you want to use at least two or three different chemicals. So next month when you come in, you're going to use a different chemical. The month after that, you're going to use something different than you used both other visits. And typically by then, all the roaches are dead. You can also do this rotation every two weeks if you want to do a quicker knockdown on your roach problem. This is what we call a clean-out service. In the pest control industry, we have what's called general pest control, which we typically do every month or every quarter. Every three months, uh, you'll want to you'll have uh, the same pesticide you use the first time you'll come through. But typically during that clean out service, which is usually anywhere from a month to three months, um, you're eliminating, you're doing a massive knockdown, you're killing as many roaches as you can, and that's what we're doing. That's why we're going we're gonna to do that service every uh, once a month for three months. And then sometimes you can switch it up to go, do it maybe once a quarter or maybe every other month service to, to ensure that you don't infest your home again. So... Uh, now that we've talked, we've, so we've gone over step one, identification, step two, treatment, step three, rotating your pesticides. So now, how do we keep from developing this problem again in the future? Um, if you know how you got roaches, was it somebody that came to visit you? Did they bring roaches in your home? Maybe you had a friend, family, relative, somebody that came and visited you for a holiday and they brought roaches with them. Don't let them come back in your house. Tell them they need to spray their house. Tell them they need to get a pest control guy out there and kill their bugs. Or show them this video and maybe they can do it themselves and get rid of their bugs. Then they can come back and visit you again. Um, is your favorite Chinese restaurant? Check, check with them. Make sure they have regular pest control. If they don't, don't buy food from them because more than likely that's how you brought them in the house. Chinese restaurants, Mexican restaurants, um, a lot restaurants in general, a lot of them deal with a lot of paper products, cardboard boxes, and paper bags. Um, German ro roaches like to eat the glue that holds bags and boxes together. So it's very common to bring them in your home in paper bags and cardboard boxes. So keep this in mind. Maybe you're buying bulk at like Sam's Club or Costco or somewhere like that. You can bring in roaches this way. So. Hopefully this video has helped you and taught you how you can get rid of German cockroaches in four easy steps. It really isn't that hard. Um, cost effective, maybe not so cost effective. If you're talking about all the different pesticides you would have to buy to do it yourself, you may still be better off hiring a professional. I recommend hiring a professional for the elimination of German cockroaches, but you may be able to get rid of them yourself if you can catch a sale on eBay or Amazon for pesticides. Uh, like I said, check the links below. I try to keep the cheapest sales always possible on the pesticides that I use, and uh, I'll be seeing you again later. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great day.